friendships come and go, and they have a natural sort of place where they just die. Although people have a real hard time with the idea that the friendship has an expiration date on it. You just sort of keep those people out there in some sort of cloud of, well, that's my friend. But then if you really Mm -hmm. tried to engage with them to the same extent of intimacy that you had with them before, expressing ideas and thoughts and feelings, it might not be such a fertile field that it lands on that time because the friendship has died. And the idea is how do we end friendships and what's the proper way to sort of mourn them or at least recognize that we no longer have friends? I found I found this article fascinating and so rich and it deals with so much of uh, like human life and human existence. My sense of friendship is you're friends, you know, with the people in the moment, but there are certain people that you click with that you cannot see. Like I there are people that like I spent my French in France, uh, uh, my junior year in uh, college in France. And we have, you know, they're like. 12 to 15 of us who spent the entire year Americans in a, a foreign country. And we have this kind of connection. If there are connections that you have, I don't see them for maybe 15 years. Mm-hmm. When you run into them, it is great. It's nostalgic. It's powerful. And it doesn't feel like that's the end of a friendship. It just means that that friendship can be picked up at any time. This, however, suggests just the opposite, mm. that you may have a, a best friend. And I know my daughters, especially maybe uh, girls or women, are more um, uh, sort of attuned to having best friends. Uh, you know, my daughters have had a string of best friends, and they continually come back to that well of best friendships. And I keep thinking, so you guys were best friends in middle school, and now you're in, you know, now you're out of college, now you're adults, you know, in the workforce. What connection do you have? And it's the, the connection they had back then that persists. Mm-hmm. This article suggests that no, just because it's not because you have a falling out, it's not because you have a fight. It's just that life, you know, catches up with you. You get distracted. You have families. You move to a different place. That the friendship deserves to die, not because it needs to be, you know, mortally wounded. It mm-hmm. just means that it's no longer relevant. And they think the best way that in this particular case, she saw a friend that she was really tight with. I think it was in high school. They see each other across a crowded street in, a, in another city. They wave to each other, but they don't stop and feel like they need to catch yeah. up because that would feel more dutiful than, oh. than friendly. Friendly, and they 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 say that's the best way to honor that friendship. That it was a great thing at the time, and now it's passed. Oh. How about you? you? I experienced it. Yes. I this. got in touch with somebody I hadn't been in touch with like in 10 years. Yeah. And went and had dinner. And we're sitting having dinner. So you do the first half an hour of, yeah. of catching, you know, up. catching up. Yeah. And then you do the whole uh, look back. Yeah. And then all of a sudden now you have to talk about the future. Uh-huh. And I said, we should do this again. And he said, why? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> he didn't even have the courtesy of faking it. Go, yeah, yeah. You know, we'll get in touch. That's the way. No, you why? It. Just why? That's good. And you said because I'm a fascinating guy. And no, you are too. no, no. I was <laughs> stunned by that. <laughs> by that I, then I had to come up. That, now my hard drive's spinning, trying to find some reason. I'm like because, yeah, we're friends. And he yeah. said, not really. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you... <laughs> but I hadn't done anything to him. Just yeah, time had no, passed. I know. But he, listen, he is one of these guys that's just right out there. He's why yeah. he, he cut those those sort of weird kind of cobwebs that connect us with memories and feelings and things like that. And he just said, no. Why? But the thing is, I think he could have asked that question while you were being friends too. If you have to quantify why you're friends, you're not really friends. No, why we were... are you friends? We were in plays together. We lived yeah. next to each other. We used to hang around yeah. together. I, I went to the, all of his kids' stuff. I think the word it, is propinquity, which just means you happen to be in the same place at the same time, and therefore that makes you friends. Uh, so maybe well, we had a, experiences together. We did, did stuff okay. together. Yeah. No, just why? Yeah.